there is a lot of untapped human potential in the world. How are we going to make the best athletes in the world better? And how can we get people really prepared to do extraordinary things? And that's the real goal here. I'm trying to give people a blueprint for how they work. He literally is like a savant of movement and mechanics. He's just able to see things differently than other people. When Kelly tells you what's going on with your body, you should listen. His knowledge is so, so big. However, as Kelly was helping athletes reach their personal best, he and his wife, Julia, discovered a need much closer to home at their daughter's school. My wife and I were working at field day, and we noticed that some of the kids couldn't get into the sack for the sack race. They literally didn't have the hip range of motion, and they'd have to like kind of lay on the ground and pull the sack, and we're like, these are fourth graders and third graders. To see that kind of orthopedic dysfunction already in kids that young was really disturbing to us. The only logical cause of that is too much sitting. And it had never honestly occurred to us that we were carting our own children off every day to sit all day at school. We needed to do something. We had this epiphany moment, like, oh my gosh, it must be this. We don't condone it in our households, but then we send them to school, and then they sit all day long. Armed with research, the couple soon met with the school's principal about using stand-up desks. They discovered that standing all day burns an additional 95,000 calories annually, the equivalent of running 33 marathons. We probably talked to her for three minutes before she said, I'm in, how do we start? Holy moly. So we bought 25 desks, and that was the beginning of the program. By January of the following year, we had 100 kids standing, and in the midst of all that, we created a nonprofit called StandUpKids.org and with the help of something like 900 donors, by August of this year, all the kids at our school were standing. Lo and behold, our daughter's at the first all-standing school in the world. It wasn't long before the students became better behaved, more alert, and improved their grades. But just as important, they also started to regain their mobility. The school was sold. They love it. The community has been really, really strong to the point where we are going to try to have the whole disc flipped within the course of a year. And that's just the beginning. Kelly and Juliet are now taking action to get their desks in other schools across the country. So far, 15,000 students have one, thanks to them. Getting out of that sedentary mode is the most important work we will ever do. It will trump any of the Olympic medals, any of the world championships. This is it. 